Hey everybody, how are y'all doing today? Well, it's a kind of a cool day here in Alabama today. It's going to get, it was freezing this morning, going to get down to freezing again tonight. Um, I think 36 degrees. It was 60 something out today, but it was okay in the sun, but in the shade it's kind of cool. Uh, we've been outside still building on that chicken coop taking on a new adventure this year trying to try my hand at some gardening and gonna get me a chicken coop build and get me some chickens it's gonna be fun y'all i'm gonna try to take y'all on with a little journey with us and uh i'll one day make a video whenever i get settled down enough from getting this all done uh to make the video it's been a lot of work but it's been fun but anyway, I decided I'd come in and get us a little supper started and make a little extra so he can take it home with him to have through the week and uh, while he's working. And I really don't know a name for this. It's just something I make. I think it's kind of like a hamburger pie. But uh, it has uh, hamburger meat, well, ground chuck, and I'm going to brown it up and... Uh, then I'll drain it and add some tomato soup. And then I, in a separate pot, I'm gonna put, cook my green beans because I just like to cook mine before I assemble it. And uh, then I'll drain them off and then it'll be mashed potatoes on the top. And I'll show you how we do that as we go. So right now we're gonna start with uh, browning the hamburger meat. And I'll get you over here where you can see. But I'm not going to make y'all watch this whole browning process. I'll turn it back off. And then I'll turn it back on whenever I get ready to add the tomato soup. Okay? So here we go. Let's get y'all over here. See if I can get it over here. Okay. That's my pot of hamburger. And I've got about two pounds in there. Let's turn the fire on and get it to browning. And I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 350. Get that started. And we're going to get this hamburger meat browning up. And while we're waiting on that to get hot, I'm going to go ahead and add my green beans. Let me see if I can get you up just a little bit to this pot over here. And I'm going to use... You can um, use what size cans you think for ever the amount you're going to make. You can make one pound, whatever you need to do with hamburger to make the size dish that you want to do. I'm just making a big one so he can have something to eat when he gets off from work every day and don't have to go home and cook. Because I've been staying up here at the country house. Okay, so I'm going to use one big can, which is 28 ounces of cut green beans. And then I'm also going to use a 14.5 of cut green beans. I'm going to put them in here. And then I'm going to add about a can of water to it. You really don't need to cook these. I just prefer mine to be cooked a little bit. Mainly because I like the seasoning. Part that I put in it just gives them a better flavor. Okay, I'm going to put just a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, now here we go with the The main goodness seasoning, and that would be bacon grease. I saved my bacon grease in this little container, and I know it's probably not good for you, but most of the southern people like cooking with bacon grease. Just gives it a good flavor. I'm going to put about a good heaping teaspoon 
And we're going to turn that on and let those cook. Don't burn it. Let those cook for a little bit, mainly until the water gets out. And then what water is left, I will um, drain it off. Okay, and let's add a little bit of pepper and salt to our meat. I like to kind of season my stuff in layers. Most of this will get off when you drain it anyway. Okay. You don't want to brown this too hard. You just basically want to get the meat done through. Okay, I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch this meat cook. It's like watching paint dry, isn't it? So I'll, um, I'll cut y'all off. And we'll come back in a minute when that is done and I get it drained I'll drain all the grease off of it and when I get it drained and get ready to get everything assembled I'll be back and show you what we do uh, after that okay see y'all in a bit okay y'all we're back the hamburger meat is browned and it's all cooked through I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next I'm gonna turn y'all around Okay, see it's all nice and brown. This tripod's being a little silly. Ain't want to stand up. All right. We got it. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one large can of tomato soup to the hamburger. This is a 23.2 ounce can. Now, like I said, if you want to cut the ingredients down you can if you want to make a smaller dish but I'm using two pounds of ground chuck and it's browned through and through and one 23.2 ounce can of tomato soup and we're going to get this all in here Y'all know I have to scrape every last bit of something. What's that saying? Waste not, won't not? Well, we don't waste anything around here. Okay, and we're just going to turn our fire back on. We're going to put it like on a low heat. And we'll stir this in, incorporate it real well. Tomato soup in the hamburger. I don't know if I told you, but I drained the grease off of this. Got all the grease off. Okay, we're just going to basically let this heat through and through to kind of incorporate the flavors together a little bit. And um, that'll be it. Our green beans are over here boiling. Can you see those? I'm going to let those boil down for a little bit and I'm going to pour the liquid off of those. Back here in this pot, I've got my water and butter ready for mashed potatoes. Now, y'all, I'm going to have to tell you, you can make your own homemade mashed potatoes if you want. Uh, but I'm using instant tonight. Um, instant potatoes aren't my favorite, but I'm going to tell you what. 
I'm gonna wa let y'all watch how I make these because if you'll do instant potatoes like I'm gonna do mine, they taste so much like regular potatoes. It just gives them a whole different flavor, and we love them like this. It's the only if I eat instant mashed potatoes, this is the only way I'll eat them. But when we get ready to put those, stir those together, I'll show you what I do. But for now, we're gonna let this uh, hamburger meat and tomato soup cook blend together real good for just a minute just warm it it doesn't even really need to be cooked because we're going to put all this in the oven in the end and we'll let our green beans cook for a little bit and then when uh i get ready to pour everything down and uh, start the mashed potatoes and assemble it i'll i'll come back in just a second see y'all in just a minute okay y'all we're back we got the green beans are done um I got them drained. The ground chuck and the tomato soup is all heated through and all incorporated real well. And we got the mashed potatoes done. Now this was just instant mashed potatoes as I said. You can use any brand. I use the, uh, this one because that's what I have. And you just mix them up to how many servings that you think you'd need for the size dish you're going to make. Um, I did 12 servings for this one. Um, I hope it's not too many. If it is, we, I just won't put that many on there. But anyway, you just mix them like the, cook them like the direction says on the box. And the secret ingredient that makes it taste so good is mayo. Now you can use whatever brand mayo you like, but we, we prefer Kraft. Okay, and what I do is I don't measure anything. If y'all have watched me cook very many recipes, you know that. I'm going to add about two heaping spoonfuls of mayo in there. I'm going to see how that works, and then I'll add more. Oh, and we're going to put a little bit of pepper in there. We like black pepper. I'll probably use a little more than a little. Okay, and we're just going to stir this in real good. Mix them in the potatoes real good. And y'all, this makes instant potatoes taste so much better. My uh, son is not a, uh, he's not a mayonnaise fan. In fact, he just eats mustard. But the uh, first time I ever did this, I didn't tell my kids that I was doing it. My daughter would eat it, but my son won't. He won't eat mayonnaise. And uh, so I just made him up and didn't tell him. And he was like, Mom, what did you do to these potatoes? They are so good. Well, I hesitated to tell him, but I did. Because he'd already ate them. He thought they was delicious. And they are. It's much better. You see how much better... That's a little bit hot. They even look more like homemade potatoes. Don't they look good? They're really good. If y'all don't like instant mashed potatoes and you've never tried them this way, you need to try that because it's really good. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble it in the dish. Let me get something to sit this over here out of the way. Sit it out of the way so I can use this part of my stove to show you what we're doing. You get a casserole dish the size that you think you'll need. Okay, and the first thing you want to do is we want to put this ground chuck and the tomato soup in the bottom. I don't know about y'all, but I like anything easy. I like to spend a lot of time cooking too, but lately, on the weekends, we've been so busy up here trying to do things we want to get done. And we're getting there. I just hope it all don't fail. It's the first time I've ever tried any of this chicken earring and gardening by myself. 
but I've been doing a lot of research, watching other people's YouTube videos that has gave me a lot of ideas, and I'm excited. Okay, and you just want to spread that out in your dish really good. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our green beans right on top of that. Just want to kind of spin them around. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Okay. Spread them evenly so everybody gets a bite of green beans. I could have probably added a little more to this, but I've really never did one quite this big. Except when company was around, that's been a while. Okay. That's good enough. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to spoon our mashed potatoes in. Those look delicious. Should have got a bigger spoon. It wouldn't have took me as long. But y'all know what? I ain't all about doing a whole bunch of dishes tonight. I'm trying to get this done so I can go back outside and help my husband with the chicken coop a little bit longer. It's getting a little bit cool out there though. I'm probably going to block y'all's view, but let me go ahead and get this in here. Those 12 cups worked out quite nicely. Like I said, I never really measure anything. I'm just, it's always a guessing game with me. That's just how I was raised to cook. Just watching you just cook. Every now and then I'll cook something where I follow a recipe, but not too often. Hey y'all, that's all there is to that. And a lot of people probably don't cover it, but I don't like my potatoes to get hard. Now, I'm going to tell you something else. You could sprinkle a little cheese on this if you wanted cheese on it. But, you know, I try to cut calories any way as I can. I've gained so much weight during the COVID, and after back surgery, I just ain't about it. I'm going to leave as much as I can off. Oh, those are the ends of them. You don't have to have it real tight on there. Just kind of cover it, keep it from getting so dried out. Okay, and now we're going to stick this in the oven. Just until it gets heated through and the tomato soup kind of cooks up through the bottom. And we've got our oven set on 350 and it's ready to go. So we're going to stick this in this oven and get it heated real good. And get the tomato soup cooking up through the beans and the potatoes from the meat. And it's going to be really good, y'all. And when we get ready to eat tonight, I'll come back and show you what it looks like on a plate. And maybe my husband will be in here and he'll do a taste test for us, okay? I'll see y'all in a little bit. 
Okay, y'all, we're back for a taste test. We finally got in from doing that, working on the chicken coop and burning some stuff. Ooh, I smell like a big smoke factory. Okay, I'm gonna turn y'all around here and let my husband do a taste test. Wait. Okay. So let's try this out, see how she is. And that's really good. That tomato soup really kicks it off. Green beans. Turn it around, let them see it. Mm, hold on. He's starving, y'all. So am I. That is really delicious. Good flavor. Good seasoning. It's good, y'all. Gotta try it. Mm, delicious. Okay, we'll see you next time. Until then, y'all keep it simple. And... Fix you something good to eat, feed your soul, and go for seconds. See you I next am. time.